food off. I think it's to soften it, <laughs> Maybe the so. idea of it all. <laughs> we got a nice week, though, shaping up. You know, that's usually the way it is. When one part of the country is seeing some rough weather, other parts of the country are seeing some pretty nice weather. Mm -hmm. And fortunately for us, we're seeing the nice weather. Yeah. Nice and cool this morning, but a nice rebound this afternoon with temperatures above average. And we're going to see even warmer temperatures on the way for the next couple of days. First of all, it is cold out there with temperatures 20s and lower 30s, and it's also dry out there. Remember, we were going through January, such a dry month. We were the 11th driest January on record, moved into February, ended up being the fifth wettest February on record. Now we're almost halfway through the month of March, and we've only picked up a trace of rain. So again, the first half of the month has been very dry again, so we desperately need some rainfall here in the Tulsa area. So far for the year, a little over five inches of rain. The average through today, 4.81, so you notice a surplus. We continue to chip away at it, only at about a quarter of an inch now so far for the year. But I do have a few chances for rain coming in over the next four or five days. But not this morning. We're starting off quiet, and it looks like radar is going to stay quiet right on through the afternoon hours. In fact, future track is going to be pretty uneventful as well as we move through the morning into the afternoon. You notice through the morning hours, mainly sunny skies, eastern Oklahoma, a couple of high clouds out in western sections of the state. A few of those will move across I-35, but mainly impact central and western Oklahoma for today. So partly cloudy skies there. For us, though, in eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas, temperatures generally in the 60s and mostly sunny skies. Then we'll see mainly clear skies around the area for this evening. Here's a live look at Air Comfort Solutions downtown cam. And again, a great shot downtown with the air relatively dry. You notice the visibilities are in pretty good shape. We can see all the way down into south and southwest Tulsa this morning. We're sitting at 32 degrees, so we're right at freezing officially here in the city. And winds are calm. The high temperature so far since midnight was 38 degrees, and overnight we've dropped down to our current temperature of 32. And it looks like temperatures will drop off a few more degrees, about another 2 to 4 degrees here over the next couple of hours before we start to see that rebound for the rest of the day. 22 in Bartlesville, 23 in Ponca City and Stillwater. 32, though, in Chandler, also up in areas of northeast Oklahoma around Grand Lake, setting in the upper 20s. Here's a look at the current winds. For the most part, light. We're seeing calm winds, light north and northeast winds, only around 2, 3 miles per hour. So it's really not giving us any added wind chills out there. So that's definitely some good news. But as we move through the morning, we will see the winds start to pick up. You notice I've stopped it right around noon today. We'll start to see winds out of the south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, stronger out west. As we move through the afternoon, winds will pick up at 10 to 20 miles per hour, especially Highway 75 and west. So that's when we're going to see that elevated fire danger through the afternoon, much stronger out to the west. Overnight tonight, as we move into the day tomorrow, strong south winds anywhere from 10 to 25 miles per hour with higher gusts will be the rule as we move on through our Thursday. That will continue through Thursday itself. And it looks like even into Friday, we are going to see some gusty conditions. If you have any plans to head out to the food trucks today, well, we're going to see sunny skies, a great looking midday for that, and temperatures upper 50s around noon. And we'll finish off at around 130 with temperatures in the lower 60s. Here's a look at the afternoon, though, with those sunny skies. Temperatures warming to 64 at 2, 67 the afternoon highs, so just a nice afternoon area wide. Stronger winds tomorrow, much warmer tomorrow morning, very warm tomorrow afternoon, 76, nearing 80 on Wednesday. Uh, on Friday, rather, we'll see a 40% chance of showers and storms Thursday night, lingering 20% chance early on Friday, cooler on Saturday. Then we'll see another slight chance for showers and storms Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday, but highs generally staying in the 60s all the way into early parts of next week.